People are loading onto buses to evacuate parts of coastal Georgia. Our live Severe Weather Team 2 coverage continues with Channel 2's Ross Cavett. He's live in St. Simon with the rush to get to safety. Ross. Hey, Javita, we've been uh, down by the pier all, all day, and normally this time of day they'd be lining up to get inside these restaurants for some dinner here near the St. Simons Pier, but that's obviously not going to happen today. And they've also brought a lot of sandbags out here. They're so close to the ocean. They're worried about the storm surge. They told me these were going for $4 a pop at the store, and you had to fill them up yourself. For some who wanted to evacuate, their only option was to hop on the bus. I'm very worried. I ain't never been in no storm before, and I'm trying to protect her. For new mom, Sure Bats, these school buses were the only way to escape the approaching storm. She said she'd do anything to protect her young daughter. I don't have a car, so very important that me and Lauren can get away and go to shelter. Glynn County officials borrowed school buses to ferry the evacuees to shelters more than an hour inland. But some couldn't leave until they took care of business first, protecting their businesses and buildings, especially near the coast. Police did their best to encourage people to leave. Vernon Wright said he had a rude wake up. The police were riding around my neighborhood on the bullhorns talking about mandatory evacuation. Well, everybody want to evacuate this time. Everybody I talk to is very into leaving. And so I think this is going to be a deserted place in a little bit. Longtime driver O.C. Moore told me he was ready to bus his group to Valdosta and leave his family and home behind. I have 100 things I'd rather be doing, but whenever my job calls and needs some help, after 27 years, I'm ready to help. Well, good for him. He's one of the many of the heroes involved in all this. By the way, we saw these homemade sandbags that I think are probably a lot cheaper than $4 a piece. In the meantime, a Glenn County police officer was just cruising on down here by the pier asking people to leave. He had a chat with several of them who moved on inland. We are live near uh, to St. Simon's Island Pier, Ross Cavett, Channel 2 Action News. Better to be safe than sorry, Ross. Thank you.